Hi, Brent Tech here. Brent Tech is made simple. So the first optional update for Windows 10 has started rolling out. KB5009596, which started rolling out on the 25th of January this year, 2022. Now, because we didn't get an optional update at the end of December due to the holidays, there seems to be quite a bit going on with this update. We actually have two new minor features in Windows 10 and then also all those all important bug fixes. And this is a non-security update. The optional updates which roll out at the end of the month are bug fix updates and do not carry any security updates. Now, if you're running Windows 10 version 21H2, your OS build now will be 19044.1503 after updating to this latest update. And if you're on 21H1, that'll go down to 19043. And if you're on 20H2, that'll go down to 19042. Now, as mentioned, some of those key highlights, we have two new features. And apparently, uh, there's a new little feature in the News and Interests feed that provides direct access to your Microsoft Edge profiles from the News and Interests found in Windows 10. Where you can also go to, they say, Microsoft says that you can also go to Microsoft Edge directly from News and Interests in the same corresponding profile. Now, I only have one profile for my uh, Edge. So um, if you have more than one profile, you should see a list of those in your News and Interests where you can, direct, you can access those directly now straight from your News and Interests. And then there's also another little new feature apparently called Sync Your Settings for users in Windows 10 who are migrating to Windows 11. Um, and that's the original release of Windows 11. And the release notes say you'll uh, use Sync Your Settings to automatically back up a list of your applications to your Microsoft account. So it sounds like this will back up all your apps and then um, you can restore those apps um, on the actual uh, Windows 11 original re release device after migrating. But apparently this is not available as yet. Um, they say this new feature will deploy over the coming weeks. So that looks like it's on a controlled rollout for those who want to migrate over to Windows 11 from Windows 10. And then if you'd like to see if you have this latest update, as always, just head to your settings menu, update and security, and the update will appear as an optional update. And I always suggest that only install uh, the optional updates if you are having any bugs and issues and problems with your Windows 10 operating system, else just leave the update alone. And once installed, um, if you decide to install it, you just restart your device. And then in view update history, uh, it will appear in Windows 10 under other updates, which is right at the bottom. And here we can see KB5009596, which is the latest and first optional update for Windows 10 rolling out this year. Now, another couple of highlights and bugs that this update does address, some of those key highlights. Apparently, it adds a reminder to Internet Explorer 11 that will notify you about an upcoming its upcoming retirement. It also updates an issue. Uh, once again, that might cause Japanese Microsoft applications to stop working when using the um, input method editor, the Japanese IME. And that's been going on for quite some time. So it um, looks like that's still a problem and Microsoft is still trying to address that. And then also a printing issue. Um, uh, there was an issue where printing was stopping to print and the wrong output when you print using USB on Windows 10 and that's version 2004 or later. And then there's another um, um, input method editor bug that's been addressed. It updates an issue that causes applications to stop working uh, when you type text using the Chinese RME. So two um, um, bug fixes for the, the input method editor. And then also the, um, apparently there was issues with surround sound audio uh, when playing in Microsoft Edge, that has also been fixed and that might help users who watch Netflix in Microsoft Edge. And then also there was an issue that caused uh, Bluetooth devices to stop working when you attempted to connect to a non-functioning Bluetooth device. That's also been addressed. And then there's two left, Daylight Savings Time 
has been updated to start in February 2022 instead of March. Uh, that's in the Jordan region. And then the last one is it updates the phone number for Windows activation um, locations that have the wrong phone number. And then um, a lot of the other little improvements and fixes. As I mentioned, this is a non-security update. There are a couple of other minor bugs that have been squashed. So if you have had any issues, uh, then I suggest download the update. Otherwise, if you haven't had any issues, just leave the update alone. And then also, if you are unable to um, download it through Windows Update, you can always head over to the Microsoft Update Catalog where um, you can download and install the update manually if you are having any issues. So just want to let you know that latest and first optional update for Windows 10 KB 5009596 is now available if you have had any issues uh, with your operating system and also carries those two new minor little features to Windows 10. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.